Africa. The, the vibe Africa. watching us on ABCI TV and my name is Abuna Odum and that's my DJ right there DJ Abs. Hey hi. Guys. Hi. Okay now here on The Vibe we want to showcase African music and entertainment from all around the world not just in Africa because there's African musicians hidden in so many little corners around the world so we're just gonna highlight some of them here for you. We'll discuss the top three music videos um, we'll also discuss entertainment news and we'll just kind of discuss everything that's going on around in the entertainment business. We'll also do some interviews with some guest artists. So watch out, you might find your favorite artist right here on this show. And we'll also showcase an up and coming artist and that will be our highlight of the week. So first of all, what we're going to do is highlight our th number three song and that is all the way from Angola, and that is C4 Pedro, and that is Vicar Paul Aku, and that means this far and no further. So DJ, hit that right back to me. The Vibe Africa. such a seductive beat that just makes you want to move just grab onto that person and just start you know just grinding all up on them and just move into that beat DJ Abs, what do you think of this song? I really like it I think it's got a good beat that kizomba that hard and golden style behind it and the video is really good yeah the video is so powerful this guy's pouring out his heart into this whole song and into the video as well as you can see he's there depicting his heart basically on a wall not even on her sleeve his heart is on a wall pouring his emotions out exactly and she's just sat there as if she doesn't really care look at her she's just there as if like, look at my high heel shoes i don't really care. She, don't care she doesn't care she doesn't care but he's so much in love he's feeling it he's feeling the emotion and he's pouring that out to her like i, I love you but you don't <laughs> love me let me just smush my heart let me pour paint all over it what does that paint even mean? It's pouring out his emotions, I guess. In blue and red, yellow paint. Yeah. She doesn't care anymore. Anyway. No. She's just no. not bothered. Not bothered at all. But it looks like he's getting new ladies, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's how men, quickly men move on. They move on so quickly. But I, I really like this video. I like how the, the director and the producers have just brought everything together and actually showed that emotion that he's trying to portray in the song through the video as well. So it, it just- contrast of colors as well. It does. There's, there's black, there's the red, there's the white as well. 
It's really nice. I quite like this video. See, Africa's got talent. Okay, people, <laughs> Africa has that got talent. God, the way he's breaking into the wall, he's smashing, his heart is broken, he's in pieces, he's all torn up, and she doesn't really care. Women are not that heartless. We don't care. We don't care. We don't care. We don't. Okay, we're strong. We run the world. Okay, we run the world. We are that strong that we don't care. This guy's pouring out his emotion. He's telling us he loves us, but I don't love you back. Bless his wee heart, though. Look at the quality of the video, though. A lot of money must have went into the production. Really? What do we know about the directors? Well, I know the song was produced by Luna Johnson. Um, so he had a bit of influence as well going into the video so they've done a lot of great work together trying to put this quality video together I mean this is not your typical shooting with a mobile phone this is great quality video work right here in this video and this video has actually had over 11 million views really? on YouTube already wow. yeah over 11 million views already on YouTube so that's our number three song uh, for this week very good song you should go and check it out um, and this uh, will be we'll be repeating the song for you just so that you can get back into the vibe of it and then you realize how good this song actually is and you just get right back into it yeah the vibe Africa if I let rester chez toi faut pas nous gâter la fête hein Et faut pas nous prendre la tête hein Depuis depuis je te vois on dirait que tu n'as pas l'air dans ton assiette hein Papa si ça ne va pas tu peux toujours aller te coucher Parce que ici c'est la fête et tout le monde a l'obligation de bouger On est là pour s'amuser On est là pour s'enjailler Même la police ne va pas nous arrêter C'est jusqu'au matin qu'on va travailler Il y a beaucoup de petites Fais ton choix Si tu ne sais pas comment faire Un mot là fais comme moi Récupère la petite Angoisez la petite, embrouillez la petite, et maintenant collez la petite. Collez, 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 collez la petite. Collez, 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 collez la petite. Sanga, 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 sanga la petite. Sang, sanga, sang, sanga, sanga, sanga la petite. Qu'on ne te trompe pas, dans la fête on ne se comporte wow. pas. That is such a good song. It's got such a heavy drum bass. Such a massive club song. Like I can imagine this at all the African you know, parties. It'd be popping off, wouldn't it? Yeah. That, is that one of the songs you've been using at your gigs? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. I love it. I actually love it. I love dancing. I love the beat. It, the whole song is even about dancing. The video shows it off really well. It's all about the dancing. It's all about the movement, bringing in all the African moves and the shaking your bum. All of that, bringing and all of that. And I actually think this guy is co signed to Drogba, the footballer. Oh, really? Really? Well, so there's actually yeah there's a video of drug bar dancing in the locker in the room, locker room <laughs> yeah with a bunch of kids doing the whole dancing it's a great video go check it out somewhere on youtube um and actually speaking of youtube this song has actually had over 21 million views on youtube already and i mean that's massive that is such big stuff that is like listening to like your ushers and stuff that's got that kind of views yeah yeah and i like the vi well, this video is a bit controversial, I must say. It is kind of controversial. I mean, look at that. They're trying to say women are empowered and all that, and we're out here, shake, twerk, 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 twerk. What does color like petite actually translate into? Stick it to the girl. Oh, God. Yeah, <laughs> stick to her like glue, just stick it to her. Basically, that's what... You can tell by the dance move in. Exactly. So, basically, getting it on. <laughs> I'll kill you. Bumping and grinding right here. Wow. Such an interesting video though. It shows the whole club scene in Africa having fun and the song is really about just dancing and maybe don't stick it entirely to the girl, but <laughs> dance, have fun. Move your body, shake around. Exactly. Ride. That's what you should do, that's what the song is all about. Yeah. Enjoy the music, have fun, dancing. It's a good song. I think I'll be putting this car in my, in my, <laughs> in my car driving along <laughs> on the motorway. <laughs> No, I love I like it. it. I really like it. Yeah. No, I definitely like this song. It's a great song. All the Africans will be moving to this one next. So there you have it, guys. That is Franco with Color La Petite 
from Cameroon and that is our number two video of the week with 21 million views on YouTube. Such an infectious beat, such a such a wonderful song for a party. Uh, so what's the next song you've got for me then? What's our number one song, DJ Abs? So the number one song is... <laughs> Collabo by Peace Square. No wonder it's number one. I love this song so much. It's on all of my playlists right now. It's number one in my car. <laughs> <laughs> I love this song. I mean, the whole thing is amazing. The beat is amazing. The singing is amazing. The whole concept of the whole song is amazing. And it's got Don Jazzy. It's, it's got Don guy. Jazzy in it. <laughs> the godfather of Afrobeats. <laughs> yeah, I love it. And then when you talk about the video, I mean, the video starts off showing another strong black woman. woman i like that that shows off one hell of a woman coming out of her car her rolls royce by the way coming out of there being our boss lady and then there's these three guys that are basically just like ah, i love her she's amazing she's just all i want and then she flips it back onto them how amazing is that what do you actually think of this whole thing? I love it. I love it. It reminds me of one of Neil's videos a little bit. Um, awesome. Independent Women. Do you remember that one? Miss Independent. Yeah, that one. That exactly one. The same concept. Yeah, and this was actually shot in South Africa. So beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, people think Africa is the whole shabby little don't place. Show you the good bits, this is the good bits. That. That, that is Africa. Come on, that is Africa. <laughs> I want to live there now. I want to move back, go home. <laughs> Maybe South Africa, though. <laughs> You yeah, don't see this part of Africa. It's amazing. It's such a beautiful place. It makes you just want to, to dream. Look at this guy daydreaming <laughs> over a woman. Come on. You're at work and you're daydreaming over a woman. Basically drooling over her. Strutting her stuff. There's another one. Another one. Look, can't even concentrate as she walks past. Now they're arguing over a woman. Who argues over a woman these days? Oh, Do you know what makes this video brilliant? The fact that it's got Don Jazzy in it, I love Yeah, him. he's such a brilliant producer as well. Mm -hmm. Everything yeah. he does is just really good. Mr. Paul. Can you actually tell the difference between the two of them? Peter and Paul. So who's who? The twins. Yeah. Okay, so Paul is the one with the dreadlocks. That's right. And Peter is Mr. P. <laughs> That's it, you got it. Basically, <laughs> yeah. This one is daydreaming as well. <laughs> now they're fighting in the left. Such a confined space. Bless. Wow. Can they not concentrate for even two seconds while she's around them? So who actually directed this? This was directed by Clarence Peters. Right. Such an amazing director. He's done so many other great videos as well. He shot Aminado oh, by Tira, Tira Savage. Exactly. Yeah. He's done that one. He also shot the Alengo video for P Square as oh, well. Right. I remember yeah. that one. Yeah. Pop banger. <laughs> another one. Another hit right there. So he's such a great director, actually. And I love his work. It's all clean. It's all modern. Very it's crisp. all. Yeah. Exactly. So contemporary as well. I love it. Oh, is she getting into it, by the way? Is she <laughs> loving the attention? Wow. Brilliant. Oh, no, she's getting right into it. She's getting into it now. 
No, actually, he Don Jazzy is daydreaming about this part. No, she's not getting into it yet. He's still daydreaming about a beautiful woman. Now, the interesting part about this video is that after everything is shot in the office and they're all trying to get her to notice her, um, they're trying to basically catch her attention and be the one that kind of wins her over. They all try so hard, but being such a clever, powerful woman, she comes up with an idea and she contacts all three of them. There's a twist coming up actually. Yep. Contacts all three of them at the same time to go on a date with her. So they all turn up with their flowers, dressed all sharply, trying to act all, oh, yeah, I'm winning this, I'm winning this. And look what they actually say. And then they come and they're served with paperwork. <laughs> and she's just eating away at her dinner like a boss lady. Very clever, isn't she? Yeah, very clever. I think we should all take take notes. <laughs> yeah, take notes from that video. Such an amazing video, that one. Don Jazzy, P Square. Collabo, beautiful song, amazing beat, amazing production. The Vibe Africa. So this video is actually directed by Judo Koye, who's the elder brother as oh, well. Right. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah. So he he's also part of the directors collaborated with uh, Clarence Peter to direct this video. But it's actually true that Peter and Paul are no longer together anymore. Peace no, no, they even fired Jude. Gosh, what happened there? Some say it's the wife's coming in between them, you know, the ladies at home coming in to their oh, business. Sh- but what's business got to do with pleasure? pleasure? I think there should be a line drawn between business definitely, and pleasure. Definitely. Well, if it's really the wife's coming in between them, then there should, as you're saying, there should be that line whereby they leave the Can wife's business the at home. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And apparently, uh, once already went off um, and joined another management, and, and a new management. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's all hearsay at the moment. It's all hearsay. Um, so Peters went off and found new management. And Paul's so heartbroken that he's written a song. Um, he's written a song called Call Heaven. And part of the lyrics of the song say, See your children, they misbehave. See their fans, all of them, they shame. That is sad. I really hope they put an end to this and come back together because they are such a good group. Exactly. Do you think that there's going to be that reconciliation, I think, though? I think they will come back together. They but, can. I know. They're, they're twins. They, they are Afrobeats. They make up, you know, the genre. So mm-hmm. we and, need and, them back. <laughs> It, it, it's crazy because this is not just going on between P Square and their management and their brotherhood. It's actually going all over all over Afrobeats. Yeah, actually, yeah. yeah, you've got your Shadow Alley and Bulldog as well. That's another one. They're all. What's going on? Why, why can people not just stay together, be friends? I think people make, lose track of music and the business. That's it. They want more. So. They want more. Yeah. They want more. They Definitely. They they forget why they started this in the first place and yeah. just go off and start doing getting too bogged down with That's the business it. side of the yeah. and the money. Money is well, it might be money. <laughs> one might be one twin might be getting paid well, more than the other. It That's might it. be money. That's what <laughs> money always brings fights. It's the root of all evil, isn't it? True. Word <laughs> sister. <laughs> She says she wants some collabo. She need them badly be like Tonado. She talks say how they play like Ronaldo. They think they sweeter like Don Jose Minado. Eminado. We can go Monaco. I rock her body, give her Molando. She just the holler, she the scream of Brigado. I saw the fire, I they call her Molato. a great great song so that is our number one for the week p square with collabo and that is our number one video shown on youtube as i said that's got over 22 million views already from the 13th most powerful african musicians okay so we're gonna move on and showcase our artist of the week our highlight of the week and bring in our up-and-coming artist the vibe africa So our highlight artist of the week, our up and coming artist is a guy called Thrones. Now Thrones is from Nigeria, one of the biggest music uh, Afrobeat countries that produce um, African music. Now 
Thrones is signed onto Wow Global record label and they're producing some amazing stuff right now. And this song by Thrones is called Kala Your Mamu and apparently that translates to Rock Your Cheek. <laughs> Whether you like or not, the king has come on board. I come to take my track. So that is our song highlight of the week. Now this song has a video which has been produced um, and the director is uh, Avalon Ope and this music video is actually a bit, eh, it's a bit tricky, it's a bit, it's kind of confusing a bit because it's this guy's birthday, right? And then he gets kidnapped. So that is his birthday surprise. It's a birthday kidnapping, basically. And that's one hell of a way to spend your birthday. But then it's his girlfriend and it's just a surprise birthday sort of bash party and an uncompleted building. So this guy is kind of transformed. His mind is just thrown away completely from birthday to kidnapping to birthday again. <laughs> it's amazing. I like this video and it's so fresh and it's so contemporary. As exactly, well. and it's Modern. it's amazing. And I, I, I like how um, all all the shots and all the the pictures and everything about this video just screams quality. It's so and natural as well. It's not over the top. The exactly. Dance moves are just the typical party moves as well. Yeah. And the song in itself is amazing as well. It's got such a good beat to it. Everything about this song as well is amazing. Now this guy is up and coming and this is the rate at which he's producing his work. Already. Already, exactly, Abs. So this is amazing. So if this is where he's at right now, imagine where he's gonna be. It's definitely one to watch. Definitely, from Wow Global Record. <laughs> I was spending my naira, spending my dollar, champagne, se pago papa mo. Shake it, get it, everybody's doing it. Shake it, get it, everybody's doing it. Okay, so that's it guys. My name is Abana Odum or you can call me Mizzo and that is my DJ, DJ Abs. Okay, so you can follow us on our social media links below and thank you so much for watching guys and we'll see you next week. The Vibe Africa The vibe Africa.